One of the things that's been a quandary for years is how do you most effectively treat patients who have HIV infection and also suffer from lymphoma? So for a long time, our strategy was to reduce the type of chemotherapy that we give, give less intensive therapy. And what we found is that those were not effective strategies. So over the last decade, what we've seen is that groups have increasingly used the same therapy that they would have used for people who don't have HIV infection with increasing success. So what our trial did is on a national basis took a population of patients with relapsed and refractory non-Hodgkin lymphoma and Hodgkin lymphoma and the setting of HIV infection. And we offered these patients who were chemotherapy sensitive the ability to move forward with intolgus transplant, which would be the standard of care if they were not HIV infected. And what we found in our trial is that these patients could in fact successfully undergo transplant. The one year overall survival was our proposed primary outcome. And for this group of patients, it was 86.6%. And then we took it a step further. We actually compared our patients to 151 age and disease status match controls without HIV infection. These patients were taken from the CIBMTR registry. And what we found is that the outcomes for our patients were superimposable and were not statistically significantly different from that group.